You want to know, see what we're doing? Can I hit it? No. <laughs> There's more to it than just hitting it. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Larry's Garage. Uh, I had filmed an opening for this yesterday, but I lost some footage. So, well, Dave was here yesterday, and you'll see in this video, he stripped out the dash, the truck, and I got cleaned up inside of it so we can get it ready for paint. And while he was doing that, You'll see in the background, but I lost all the footage for it. I oh man, I made a pattern for this because I'm not using the stock gauges. I uh, now I took the pattern, transferred it to a piece of aluminum. Which I'm not quite done yet. I've got to finish sanding it to fit and then I'm probably going to make one for here and for here that will cover the man well, I ain't sure what I'm doing here yet but I definitely got to get this one done in this will be the tack in the middle oil pressure water temp bolts transmission Temperature, fuel pressure, air fuel, air fuel mixture. Uh, that's why we took the whole thing and did this because I want to keep all those in there. And all right, well, I better get at it and get this where it'll fit in there, so I, I can come back and show you that it does fit in there. Uh, right now, I think I will cut into some of what Dave was doing. Uh, hey, like and subscribe, guys. I uh, really, uh, why I was amazing from yesterday. I think we ended up with seven new subscribers in the last two days, and we could use more. You know, we are who we are. We're not going to put on a show. We're not going to be something we're not. You know, I'm an average working guy. I am a mechanic by trade, but I'm an average working guy. Uh, So's Dave. We have a hobby with cars now in the future dave just ordered all the stuff to lower his ranger and we're picking up a explorer that we're going to take the 8.8 .8 out of the rear end out of the back for and put it in his ranger and the 302 that's in it will go in his ranger so it's a project that will be gone ongoing we still have the rat rod i got to get back on uh I still have the, the blazer down there and we have a falcon out, out outside here 63 falcon that will be a project i build i'm never going to stop building you know i'm never going to stop being in the garage the only thing different is we film it now and i really appreciate all you guys that have liked subscribed shared uh check me out by facebook lowry's garage on facebook uh there's Lowry's Garage, Lowry's Garage here on YouTube. Check them out. Subscribe to both of them. Be awesome. Uh, hope you guys are interested in what we do. I miss that about old vehicles. What's that? Ashtrays and cigarette lighters. Yeah. <laughs> now you have to pay extra. You know what I thought that was going to be. 
Yeah, it's been a little more money. You want to kill yourself, you got to pay for it. I probably would have missed it if I hadn't quit smoking. And none of the new vehicles, if you buy an Astra, if you actually pay for the package for the cigarette lighter and the ashtray, the ashtray is not actually in the vehicle. No, it's the ashtray is a cup, cup holder. <laughs> so you spend three hundred dollars for a cigarette lighter and a cup holder. And you can put a soda can in there with a little bit of soda in it. Yeah. And buy you a big and buy you a big to take money. <laughs> There's your hint for the day, guys. <laughs> if you got a new car, you want an ashtray, Pepsi can, <laughs> Pepsi in it, and a pick. Yep. Save yourself $300. Yeah, I town working on something in town like this daughter's plumbing or something I need a hacksaw. That or you're out here and you can't find one. <laughs> the same way I end up with three or four of whatever. The same way dad ended up with eight of everything. No your dad just bought it. <laughs> torpedo levels and I'm getting ready to buy another one. But I don't have one like the one I'm getting ready to buy. Oh, you ain't got one like the one you're buying. That's right. Yeah, I ain't got one like that. Well, I bought my first Stabila level. Yeah, I don't know, three, four weeks ago. And I really like them. Those are all them Harbor Freight pads. You can put them okay. Uh, I, I really like the levels. They're expensive, but I really like them. So I'm gonna get me a, they make a torpedo level that has a 360 degree angle window on it, which will help with a lot of trim crap that I do. You know what I mean? Hey look, I found a lighter. Well, in your defrost. Oh, can't yeah. imagine how that would have got there. I, I don't think it's any good anymore. But I found it. Can't imagine how that ever got there. <laughs> guys well it's all trimmed up and now when I'm ready to do this I'll be cutting most of this out leaving just enough that I can panel bond this to it I don't want to have to screw it to it panel bond it to it now I am going to probably make a plate for here I've changed my mind I'm not putting the radio fake radio back in I'm going to make a panel for here. 
most likely, unless I change my mind again. Because right now, what we're going to have for gauges, we got this back up in there. A little hard to do one handed, y'all. Tack, shift light, oil pressure, volts, water temperature, first turn signals, and dim, trans temp, fuel pressure, and AFR. Now, that's what I'm planning on for now. Plans change. Uh, for right now, I think that's what, what I need. Now the reason for so many gauges is one day I'd like to do a drag and drive event in this and keeping up with the trans temp, running a stall. Now before I do a drag and drive, I'll need to get rid of the turbo 400 and the shift key, the uh, trans brake and the stall that's in it. And I have to put like a 4L80E so I got overdrive with a trans brake and a stall. Uh, yeah, that's so that I can actually drive it on the road. Is running a stall if you ain't got a lock up in them they'll overheat pretty bad I really don't want that you know especially on, on something like a drag and drive event so I want plenty of gauges to keep an eye on my, on what what it's doing yeah maybe it's overkill I mean I'd like to have a race pack stuck in the dash but let's face it I can't afford that you know it's all about what you can afford to do all right, guys, I think that's the end of this video. I want to thank you for hanging around watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, check out the uh, YouTube, the uh, Facebook channel, Lowry's Garage. You know, maybe you want to follow it. All right. Well, guys, you have a good night.